You are a criminal. And I'm a criminal. And so is everyone else who ever walked the face of this earth. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory of God, who is holy, who is perfect, and who is absolutely righteous. And he does not lower those standards for miscreants, for wicked men such as you and I. But there's hope. And here's the good news. Jesus came. He lived a perfect life. He took that perfection to the cross where he died for our sins. He became a curse for us. He took every sin that we've ever committed and paid the price on that cross at Calvary. So that when you die and you cross that threshold from this life to the next, and you are appointed to your judgment. Jesus, as your defense attorney, can step in and say, he's mine. His crimes have been paid for. His debt is wiped away. He's been forgiven. He may enter into the rest of the Lord. And without that, without Christ as your counselor, as your defense attorney, as your savior in that moment, when you face your creator, there's no doubt, there's no second chances, there's no, I, I'm cute enough, I was nice, I was a good person. The crimes you committed the idle words you spoke will have to be paid for. And our God, being a holy and a righteous God, will not compromise his character based on who you think you are. And you will pay in eternity for all of your crimes. You won't get away with that pleading in a court of law in this cursed earth in front of an unholy judge and you definitely won't get away with it in front of a holy judge such as our creator, the Lord God. Repent. Receive Jesus into your heart as your Lord, as your savior, as your defense attorney or you must pay for your sin. And the only time that God deals in when establishing his judgment for the crimes that we've committed is eternity. So you will pay for eternity. Don't die in your sin. Please don't die in your sin. Repent. For those who come to God pleading for mercy, for forgiveness. With a broken heart, with a contrite spirit. He will in no wise turn away. Let he who has ears hear. And turn back to God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord lift his countenance on you and give you peace. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen.